a uh, story that I and I man was shocked when I saw it. Because a morgue manager at Harvard Medical School has been charged with stealing and selling human remains, ladies and gentlemen. And when I said stealing and selling human remains, I mean it is shocking. In 2023, a prestigious college as the Harvard Medical School. Now, I want to clarify in the picture here. The manager is the African-American man. And the woman there you see in the picture with him is his wife, the European woman. Now, Scranton, Pennsylvania. A former manager of a Harvard Medical School morgue, his wife and three other people have been indicted in the theft and sale of human body parts, federal prosecutor in Pennsylvania announced Wednesday. His name is Cedric Lodge, a 55-year-old man of Gustown, New Hampshire. He stole dissected portion of cadavers that were donated to the school in a scheme that stretched from 2018 mm, <laughs> to 2023. According to court documents, the body parts were taken without the school's knowledge or permission, authorities said. Additionally, the school has cooperated with the investigation. Lodge, this is the name of the gentleman. Lodge sometimes took the body parts with him, including heads, brains, skin, and bones, back to his home where he lived with his wife, Denise, 63 years old. And some remains were sent to buyers through mails, authorities said. Lodge also alleged allowed buyers to come to his morgue to pick what the remains they wanted to buy. Bodies donated to the Harvard Medical School are used for educational and teacher or research purposes. Once they are no longer needed, the cadavers are usually cremated and the ash returned to the donor's family are buried in the cemetery. In a message posted to the school's website entitled, An Abhorrent Betrayal, Dean George Daly and Edward Hundred called the matter morally reprehensible. They said the lodge was fired May 6th. We apologize to the families associated in the situation. We are appalled to learn that something so disturbing could have happened on our campus, a community dedicated to healing and serving others, the dean wrote. The reported incidents are a betrayal of the Harvard Medical School. And most importantly, each of the individuals who alterize the trust of our people chose the bodies to the Harvard Medical School throughout their animosity or anomitical gift program, excuse me, to advance medical education and research. Paula Peltnovich and her sister, Danielle Lynch, said they were shocked to learn that their father's remains were among those that said to be stolen and sold. They said their parents were both police officers in New Hampshire and who wanted to donate their bodies to science. While the woman feared there may be may never know what happened to their father remain. They have asked the school to return the body of their mothers who died in March. Their father died in 2019. Who could do something like that? What kind of person? No respect at all for the family, Petrovic told a TV station there in New Hampshire about the defendant. They need to pay the indictment charge, the lodges, and three others. Catherine McLean, 44 of Salem, Massachusetts, Joshua Taylor, 46 of West Lawn, Pennsylvania, 
and Matthew Lamid, 52, of East Bethel, Minnesota, with conspiracy and interstate transport of stolen goods. I mean, you hear this hideous, hideous act that these people commit. And this is in the United States. Now, Taylor's lawyer, Christopher Opel, declined comment Thursday. It was not known if any of the other defendants had a lawyer and they could comment on their behalf. According to prosecutor, the defendants were part of a nationwide network of people who bought and sold remains stolen from the schools and an Arkansas mortuary. The largest allegedly sold remains of McLean to McLean, Taylor, and other arrangements made through telephone calls and social media websites. I mean, you'd think they would have some sense nowadays that they know that everything is being monitored. Taylor sometimes transported stolen remains back to Pennsylvania, authorities said, while other times the lodges would mail remains to others in the mail. McLean and Taylor resold the stolen remains for profit, authorities said. McLean owns Cat's Creepy Creation, a store in Peabody, Massachusetts, where authorities say she sold and store human remains. It's on her Instagram page noted that the store sells creations that shock the mind and shake the soul, along with creepy dolls, oddities, and bone art. The indictment cited a transaction where McLean allegedly sold human skins to a Pennsylvania man who tanned it and created leather. After McLean shipped more human skin to the man, she contacted him and confirmed that the shipment arrived because she wanted to make sure it got to you and I don't expect agents at my door, court paper said. Well, that did not seem to work out because the agents them showed up. In another instant, McLean allegedly agreed to buy two dissected face for $600 from Cedric Lodge in October of 2020. The indictment also alleged that other a three-year period, Taylor transported 39 payments of human remains totaling $37,355.56 in PayPal account operated by Dennis Denise Lodge. One payment for $1,000 including a memo head number seven while another for 200 read brains. Denise and Cedric Lord both made their initial court appearance Wednesday in federal court in Concord, New Hampshire. And where each release, they were each released on personal recognizance bail. <laughs> wow. They declined to comment when they left the courthouse. Two other people have been charged in the case. Jeremy Pauley, age 41, of Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, allegedly bought some remains from Candice Champman Scott of Little Rock, Arkansas, who allegedly stole them from the mortuary where she worked. Authorities have said Scott stole body parts from cadavers she was supposed to have cremated, noting many of the bodies had been noted, donated to for use of research and educational purposes by a medical school in Arkansas. Polly allegedly sold many of the stolen remains to other people, including individual, including Lampy, Polly, and Lampy bought and sold from each other over the extended period of time, exchanging more than $100,000 in online payment, authorities said. Scott and Polly have both pleaded not guilty. These are just, just, just shocking allegations. I can't even find words to hear. So people are deal. 
in stolen body part. First of all, even if you never stolen, why you a deal in a them thing there? Leave your comments about these things, people. Now, you can look at the man where tattoo up and realize eh, something wrong with him. Something is wrong with him. But when me realize eh, the black man was the head of the morgue at the Harvard. Yes, see him there. And him wife I cover up her face over up on the right. The black man was the head because I personally thought it was the man with the tattoo up and I thought he was the one that stole the I did not realize. Say I the black man. At the head of the Harvard school. Mark. Me think I did this your man you told me say him with the skull. And him tattoo up and look like them kind of man there. People, people, people. Do you hear what's going on in today's world? Tell you like boys and girls. It is not right. Not at all in Jaja's sight. Now before... This story.